Coming to the farm is an opportunity to experience things that they normally wouldn't be able to experience. Being around a large animal, the opportunity to uh, learn how to groom and care for animals. And some love riding uh, the horses and each week you really notice a change in the individuals and uh, their comfort level. I think Community Living Burlington is an agency that is always trying to be an innovative agency. We have about 320 staff and we have over 450 people that we touch throughout the year. We start at a very young age. Uh, we work with children as young as two and uh, up to seniors. We have people who we support residentially who are in their 80s. Our program, we have a fantastic group of uh, staff and our whole goal is to design and deliver programming that enables people who have developmental disability to thrive, to be independent. So we have, um, we're very fortunate to have partners like Gail at Vernity Stables, um, Allison who comes in and volunteers at time as a jewelry maker, but her professional job as a graphic designer. Uh, big difference. Just, just the skill alone has really, the skill set ha has increased with all the different members and uh, We've become more creative and then moved from jewelry to card making and box making and bag making and uh, all different types of crafts for the holiday season. So it really has evolved as a program. Well, in, in 2014, I went to Vancouver for the Nationals in five pin bowling and I just happened to win three gold medals which I am so very proud to have had the chance to win. It was an accomplishment beyond my wildest dreams. I help people when they just need help with something. I, I've been there for the last 27 years. And I've liked every day since I've been here. And I hope to be here for a number of years to come. I think Community Living Burlington is an agency that is always trying to be an innovative agency, trying to find different things to do. We have a good staff team of uh, people who've been here for a very, very long time. We don't have a lot of turnover. And they really want to do different. They want to be different. They want to see what people want. And they're willing to adapt. Community Living Burlington offers various housing solutions for people that we support. We offer group living, which is a very traditional model. But we have four wonderful people that live here at Fisher House. We have three lovely ladies and one giant personality of a gentleman. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, we have Chris here. Yeah. Uh, we have David, Tracy. and we have Tracy, and we have Susan. Yeah. I am a live-in manager yeah. here, so yeah. I live here 24-7. We try to run it uh, um, as a close-knit family. So we're really trying to move away from that model and really look at an independent living model like Wellington Terrace. In 1994, we partnered with the Halton Region. We have 20 subsidized units with a staff office. The people that we support there, 20 people, live in affordable accommodation. The people that we support also have access to the servery, which provides healthy meals in a very inclusive environment. I love this building. It's a very, very nice building. I'm not too far from the bus terminal, and I go to work and everything, and I love it very much. It is our goal to replicate the Wellington Terrace housing support model in Halton. It allows people to thrive and live independently. We have Thunder living with us right now. So he's really enjoying somebody making him lunches and he has smoothies every morning, that kind of thing, that routine. The Associate Family Home Program has providers that offer a place in their home and a place in their heart. I got Stephen as a young lad uh, to give support to his mom on the weekends. And I did that for six months because I wasn't going to make a commitment 
unless I was absolutely sure that it was something I was going to do for the long term, not the short term. So then when I explained that to CAS and I said, I'm going to take on this, she said, why don't you take Stephen? And that was the day that changed my life. The business community is catching on to the fact that here is a segment of the population that's been overlooked for many years that are a real asset to the workforce. There's less absenteeism for the people we support in community jobs. They're on time, they stay focused, because they know that this is their job. Uh, they're thrilled to be working, they're thrilled to have a paycheck. In part this is driven by the fact that in my family we have a daughter who has Down syndrome. So she has her own set of different abilities. And I think it's important that we recognize as a society that people with those different abilities can contribute at various levels, just like every one of us has different skill sets. Alan and William, they, they bring their own skill sets to us as an organization. It's good for the community, it's good for the individuals, and I think it's good for the rest of the team as well. And how long do you want to work here? Until I retire. There's a big soft spot in my heart, absolutely, for Susan. So she was the first uh, young lady that came to help us. Uh, I always get a smile, uh, but more importantly, of course, she does a really good job. I also have uh, Mackay. I love him too because I know he's a genius. So he does data entry for us and he's lightning fast and his accuracy rate just spins my head. And we've actually had uh, a number of kind of nice comments from clients and I'm hoping that we can sort of spread that goodwill onto them so that they may also look like to look to community living to hire some folks to help them out. The business community is catching on to the fact that we can provide people who are motivated, reliable, dependable, to learn the tasks. Maybe it takes a, a little while longer to learn the task in the first place, but we provide that job support right there in the workplace. Once people have learned their job, they tend to stay for a long period of time. We support over 100 people, and these are people who are earning minimum wage or greater. Developmental services is a field that is not a sexy field. It is not health and it's not education. It's not touched by everybody um, in the public. So those people who are supported in developmental services, it's long term from birth until death. And those people need our ongoing support. And when they need that support, it's intensive. One of our values is really to enhance their lives, but also to make sure that people are able to participate in things that they are interested in. It's very important for us to be able to fund those activities that wouldn't otherwise be funded. We are extremely thankful to our sponsors and supporters uh, of our events and of our program. Don's father's older sister actually had a developmental disability. So the Smith family grew up with a member of their family having those challenges and then as a family having to deal with that and um, and making sure that she was part of the community, she was part of the family and was, was able to access all of the things that the rest of us would be able to access. Uh, we've been servicing them now for the last eight years and we've been a proud supporter of all their events including their Easter auction, their charity golf tournament, their walk and roll, and just recently their 60th anniversary. We're so proud to be partners with Community Living Burlington and we're so happy they've allowed us to be the, the service provider as well and we can't wait to continue this partnership. Good luck Community Living Burlington.